Hey, what's up? This is Ailstorm here. We're very much in summer now, and unless you're Southern Hemisphere, that means that it's warming up a little bit, and chances are you're going to want to start mixing your outfits up from the standard all-black, tech ninja everything kind of get-up. Last year, we did a little video that was specifically focused around this idea of summer tech wear. But this time I want to be a little bit more specific and look at the idea of shorts and how you can mix those into tech wear outfits. So I've got three different pairs with three different looks and we're going to put together three totally different outfits with those. So I've got a pair from Gorilla Group and Outlier, thanks to those guys for sending those to help me make this video, and I've got a pair from Y3 that I picked up last year too. And with these three outfits I feel like there's three main focuses, one on utility, one on material performance and wear ability and one purely on aesthetics and originality. So with that in mind, let's take a look. The first style that I want to look at is based on the Gorilla Group shorts, the PS01 shorts in black. I opted for these because I feel like in many ways they're like the short equivalent to a pair of Techwear cargo pants. They're very pocket heavy, they're very utilitarian in design, and yet with a much more modern, slimmer cut than what you would find in your dad's favourite cargo shorts. The material is pretty thick and pretty heavy GT2, so those things together made me want to use these to put together an outfit that is very much more utility focused and the kind of thing that you would be very comfortable spending a long time outdoors in. So for that reason I matched up these shorts with a blue Arc'teryx frame tee. Uh, not only is this incredibly comfortable and suitable for long periods of wear, but the colouring here I think is really important too. Not only do the shorts have these little blue accents, which I think work real nice with the tee, but the shorts, you can't really tell, but they're actually kind of a faded black colour. So if you try and mix these with a pure black t-shirt, I don't think it looks quite right in my opinion, so you kind of have to go for something which is a little bit lighter, a grey or a blue, something like that, is going to be just perfect. I've also got an Orbit Gear backpack on which continues that utility focused and pocket heavy theme. I like that you can do that strap up along the chest as well. Not only does that make the backpack more comfortable for long periods of wear, but I feel like it just makes the outfit a little bit more interesting and it definitely gets that modern hiker core look across. There are a couple of other accessories to round out this outfit. You've got the Havana Labs belt with that lovely little Fidlock buckle that I do enjoy so much. I think I've got three belts with a Fidlock buckle now. Can't get enough of the things. And it's got that tech approved dangle if that's something you're interested. I'm also wearing that Amazon foldable hat that I used in that budget techwear challenge a while back. I think it does the job for this kind of thing. And a pair of sunglasses as well, just to say, come on, I'm ready for all kinds of summer-based weather. On feet, I opted for the CDG Moabs because of that hiking reference in their design, but there's a whole bunch of options that you could pick here, and in fact, probably more appropriate ones than these, to be honest, because these do have a little bit of a delicate aspect to them, and I feel like something that's real heavy duty, gonna be suitable for long periods of wear, is gonna be perfect here. Anything from the ACG line, for example, I think is gonna go really nicely. There are some Adidas hiking-focused shoes as well, some sneaker boot type things, which again, are gonna be perfect. To mix an outfit like this up, you could chuck on some kind of cool retro anorak, I think that would work very nicely with the shorts, or if you need a little bit more warmth, you could easily go for some kind of heavy duty oversized hoodie, maybe something like Cavent for example. I think because the shorts do have that little bit of bulk to them, and that material is pretty thick, pretty hard wearing, you have a little bit of flexibility with wearing something a little bit heavier, a little bit more present on the top half, rather than just restricting yourself to the shorts and t-shirt combo that of course is pretty much the go-to thing to wear with shorts. And you can tell that I mean this is outdoor ready because I even managed to leave the house to get some footage of this stuff. So if that's not an endorsement, I don't know what is. Style number two is based around the outlier OG freeway shorts. These, in typical outlier fashion, might look unremarkable, but there's a lot of important details that you can't really see. Not only do these fit very well and are very flattering and comfortable, but they're made from shoulder dry skin extreme, which is really, really stretchy, really nice to wear, and they're also DWR treated as well. So like the Gorilla Group shorts, they will have some water resistance, although I feel like are much more comfortable than those ones are. Further to that, the pocket lining is not a solid material. It's actually an extremely dense mesh. So although for all intents and purposes for normal use, they just feel like normal comfy pockets, if you want to, you can use these to go swimming in. So low key performance, very much the theme of this outfit, and a pair of shorts that really are a do it all thing, something that you can pretty much just put on in all conditions and you're not gonna run into any problems. To continue the theme of that outfit, I've paired this up with the Outlier Raimi Lust t-shirt. This is the white version 
although it really comes in a slightly kind of natural white, a bit of an off-white color. It's very lightweight, it's got a very open weave, which means for warmer temperatures, this one's gonna be perfect. And in case you hadn't noticed, this outfit isn't so much about looking like a tech ninja, but more an outfit that's gonna be very comfortable and very reliable for summer wearing. On feet, I've got some Tevas for that German tourist swag. If you're balling a little bit harder, then maybe you could go for some sweet cokes instead, flex a little bit, get a little bit more of an interesting thing into the outfit. Or if you want something more substantial, you could go for a lightweight sneaker, maybe like a flyknit trainer, something like that. But because these shorts, I think, do have that air of smartness about them, they are very flexible. You could even wear these with a classic tennis shoe, smarten that outfit up a little bit and give a new way to wear these shorts, make them even more flexible. I intentionally went light on the accessories because I want to keep this outfit as flexible as possible. I like the idea of you just being able to take off a couple of things and then go for an impromptu swim if you want, then put them back on later, maybe add one or two things if it gets a bit colder. So a simple bag like this Sacra one I think will do the job, or if you're really desperate for something branded, you could opt for a brand like Y3 instead. If things do get a little colder though, you could chuck on something like this CP Company Overshirt. It's got some tech wear credentials, so I think aesthetically this is going to help with an outfit like this, and it's just super easy to wear, got a little bit of water resistance, all that good stuff. I also think these shorts will go great um, with the Arc'teryx frame tee again. So so that's something that you could work in and if you're going with that then you've got some other options for what you could wear on your top half. So I've got this outlier F cloth shirt as well which really continues that kind of super low key aesthetic but with that nice material performance things are very very comfortable to wear. Something like this is a bit more evening appropriate whilst keeping that very cool casual summer vibe. All in all I think these shorts are an extremely flexible versatile choice, something that you can do all kinds of different things with and you don't really have to worry too much about what to pair with them because they're just comfy, they're low key, you can let the rest of the outfit do the talking if you want to but also just keep everything else fairly plain as well and just have that nice cool quiet material performance. That approach is great when you're looking for high performance clothing where your number one concern is staying cool and dry in very hot weather. But maybe that's a little bit low key for you. Maybe you want something a little bit more unique or a bit more exciting. And that's why the third outfit is based on these Y3 Sarowell shorts. Now, generally I don't recommend buying Y3 at full price, but I did make an exception for these shorts because I think the cut of them is very, very unique. And when I picked them up last year, they were exactly what I was looking for at the time. They're just cotton, which gives them a moderate amount of comfort, no real performance aspect as such, but the wide leg opening and the drop crotch makes these super comfy and nice and breezy to walk around and just spend the day in. I like these shorts, they're comfy and easy to wear. But the theme that I really wanted to go for with this outfit was using extended silhouettes and drapey fabrics. The key to this is really the Gorilla Group meme tank. It's got that super extended length. Everything about it is very flowy, very drapey. It's made of that rayon material as well, which not only is great for summer performance because it's pretty breathable, it's pretty lightweight, but it's very breezy looking as well. And I've paired that up with the underrated Y3 Casa sandals. With these pieces together, you've actually got something that's really modular. So if you don't have massive biceps like me, or it's just a little bit colder, you could chuck something on like this ASOS kimono. Well, they call it a kimono, it's actually more of an aragi. This particular one isn't available anymore, but they do have equivalents, so you can pick something up like that for not a massive amount of money. You could wear some long socks with this if you want, although they do have to be very long to prevent any skin from showing, or you can go sockless, just depends on how much of a little ninja you feel like being. In terms of accessories, I've got this small, medium-sized bag from 0608. Not something that I wear that often, but I think it kind of works in this outfit, or if you want to keep that natural fiber vibe going, you could definitely go for some kind of black cotton tote bag. I think that would look really nice with this. It's something that's a little bit less structured, shall we say, so kind of blends with the whole drapey oversized idea. This is also a great opportunity to bust out a mad hat like the outlier fuck it hat. It's gonna keep the sun off your face big time and it makes you look like the final boss of Rice Farming Simulator 3019. What more could you possibly want? But seriously though, wide brimmed hats, anything like that is gonna go super nicely with the extended proportions on the rest of this outfit. And there you have it, that is my three, utility, material performance, and aesthetics. The holy trinity of tech wear summed up with three different pairs of shorts. The Gorilla Group PSO1, the outlier OG Freeway, 
freeways and the Y3 Saruel shorts. Really hope you like these different shorts and the different outfits associated with them. Really interested to hear uh, what you guys think was your favorite or perhaps what kind of style you're looking more towards this summer. I think that's gonna depend a lot both on the individual person and the environment that you happen to be living in. So like over here in the UK, for example, it's not gonna get crazy hot. So you can probably get away with focusing on the aesthetic side a lot more and maybe wearing a couple of more layers. That's not gonna be a problem. But if you're on the equator, then it's probably gonna be way too hot to start like putting the raggies over the top of other layers and all that sort of thing. So maybe you do wanna focus on the outlier side of things, things that are just very focused on just keeping you cool, keeping you comfy. Anyways, if you enjoyed the video, please do give it a like, it's super appreciated. And let me know what kinds of things you wanna see next. And of course, as always, we will be back next week with another video. This is basically the closest equivalent to a Gore-Tex fedora. Matekwe.